7.8%, a new record for the low income. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, a new report was just released specifically focused on the low income, and they're now talking 7.8%. Well, that's what I want to discuss for you right here in this video, as they're now discussing this could potentially double to over 15% next year, and that's something we need to talk about, so let's get right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so and because I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm here for you right by your side every single day watching all this new information, hitting the wire, doing the necessary research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what's actually going on as things are changing very rapidly and ultimately I do want to point out anything out there right now you can possibly grab and or take advantage of including money, benefits, raises to benefits, checks, programs, stimulus, or anything else like that, of course, I want to bring it to you right away. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And also remember, I'm here for you in any way that I can be. That's my dedication. That's my commitment. And as always, that is my promise to you and everybody right here in the community. All right. Thanks again. Let's get into it and talk about yet again, another report laid out for the low income and what this report is now showing because there's some good progress here, but at the same time, we're going to lose all that progress very, very fast. According to these reports and what's coming out right now, they're actually suspecting that this 7.8% that they're talking about in this report is likely going to double. And I want to break that down for you to let you know what it means. And of course, what is actually attributing to this 7.8% figure. Here's what it comes out to. So this new report that was just released is talking about the poverty rate in the United States. In fact, the 7.8% that was actually posted last year. So in other words, what they did, uh, they, they ran a study on this and they found that 7.8% of the population in the United States last year was living in poverty. Now, that probably seems like it's a high uh, rate, right? Well, it's actually kind of high, right? Just under 8% of the population, right? However, they're actually anticipating that this is likely going to double to over 15% this next year. Now, let me point out a couple of their facts about this. They also said this 7.8% is the lowest poverty uh, rate in the United States ever in the history of the United States. This is the lowest it's ever been. I'm not really sure if we should be celebrating this or not. Almost 8% of the people living in poverty uh, is that really something to be celebrating? I mean, maybe if it was 0%, we should be celebrating. But seriously, if we're talking about 8% and thinking this is great, um, I feel like there's still 8% of the population that we're still, um, you know, not doing something about, right? We're not helping these people out. So to me, and I feel like many of you here in the community probably agree with this, um, there's still 8% of the population that we need to do something for, right? So anyway, they're celebrating this thinking, wow, this is a great achievement here. And we've done some really great things. Yes, it's come a long way, but there's still work to be done, right? So anyway, I don't want to digress too far away from this. However, let's talk about this a little bit further. So they actually went into this report and actually found that this is all attributed to, guess what? Yeah, you called it stimulus checks. I mean, seriously, this is what they're saying. Is this uh, this record low rate of poverty in the United States was actually attributed to the three rounds of stimulus checks that we received in early 2020, late 2020, and early 2021. Because of all that money, it was a little over $3,200 per individual, right? So as a result of that, this lifted a lot of people up. There were some people out there, families of four and couples like that, getting thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars as a result of that, lifting a lot of people out of poverty. They also did cite the child tax credit payments through the second half of last year, as in 2021, I mean, is what I should say. Um, so as a result of the child tax credit payments going out through the second half of the year, they also cited that as well by lifting a bunch of people out of poverty, millions of families as well. So you can clearly see from this report, as a result of, I don't know, checks going out to the low income, it significantly lowered the poverty rate in the United States. Now, they're actually determining the poverty rate by something they're calling supplemental poverty rate. Why it's called supplemental, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not really sure why it's uh, called supplemental, but that's what they're saying. They're calling it supplemental poverty rate. So SPR is how they're refer uh, referring to this. And they're also referring to it as SPM, uh, supplemental poverty measure. So there's a couple different words and phrases they were using here. Again, not really sure why they call it supplemental, but that's just what they're calling it. So that's what I'm just translating back to you here in this video. But anyway, 
surprise, surprise, they found that actually sending out ongoing checks to uh, the low income is actually the best and the fastest way to lift millions of people out of poverty very quickly. I mean, really? Do we need to get a medal for like learning this or something? I mean, let's be real for a second. I think we all know this, right? We've seen the reports that have come out time and time again, and we continue to see that, yep, Sending out a stimulus check certainly helped out a lot. It increased income. It helped those individuals who are low income and fixed income get the necessities and things that you need. The problem with them is, and they also cited this in the report as well, is that a one-time check is actually not the solution. This is almost more detrimental than it is helpful simply because one big check comes out, we all are happy, we're all great, we can maybe catch up a little tiny bit, and then three days later, five days later, 10 days later, all the money is gone, and then here we sit thinking, great, now what? When's the next one going to come by, right? So they actually found out that in this report, they're actually suggesting that one-time checks are great but they're actually not the solution. What the real solution is, again, huge shock here. I, I hope you're sitting down because you're gonna be completely surprised by this one. They actually found out that ongoing monthly checks is the solution. <laughs> I mean, seriously, did we really need to wait all these years to figure this out? I mean, we've been talking about this for a very long time. Now, all of you here in this community know this. We know this. We've been covering it for a very long time and that's what they're finding with those reports. So. I'm glad that they um, went into all this extensive research after we've been talking about this for so very long. But the moral of the story is, when it comes down to it, yes, one-time checks are very helpful, but they also found that ongoing payments or payments that are spread out or payments like big lump sum payments, multiple of them, even if they're spread out a little bit, like what we saw with the stimulus checks, right? So like April of 2020, December of 2020, and March slash, you know, April-ish of 2021. So even though they were spread out by quite a few months there, actually, to be fair, the second payments were actually a lot closer together. Um, you know, those were only separated by like three and a half months or so. But what they found is even big payments, like big checks going out separated by a couple months time, those are even very helpful as well because you could do like checks of say 200 or $500 a month. That's good. That'd be very helpful as well. But they're also finding sending out a thousand, twelve hundred, fourteen hundred dollars every two or three months is all is also kind of the same effect, right? So it all kind of uh, shakes out the same at the same time. So here's the other problem now, and I want to break this down for you, which is they're actually suggesting that this uh, record low poverty rate in the United States, again, 7.8%. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, again, I was going to say, you know, they got a lot of work to do. You know, that's a good, that's good. It's been significantly higher than that, but they still got a lot, a lot of work to do about it. But that what they're suggesting is that this will likely be over 15% this next coming year. Why? Well, a variety of reasons. As of right now, uh, they're not sending out a stimulus check at this moment. Will they send one out this year? They might. Again, I don't want to be here to say, yes, for sure they will or anything like that. I have no clue what Congress is going to do. It's all going to be uh, based on economic data, like what we talked about in so many videos in the past, okay? So it's all going to be uh, predicated on the economy. But they're actually projecting because all of these payments have dried up. Essentially, remember, they could come back at any given point here. It's all going to be based on economics uh, and the economy, things like that. But when it comes down to it, they're actually suggesting, um, look out, everyone. We're going to be seeing this poverty rate go significantly higher, possibly doubling over 15% yet again this coming year because the payments are pretty much gone. That's it for right now, right? Unless we get something else. But again, as of right now, we don't know that for sure, unless it's in the bank or unless Congress is actively, actively working on it and or actively passing it, we can't really chalk it up as a win or money in our accounts quite yet, right? So here's another scary t statistic that I want to point out as well. They also found from this report, 68% of the 7.8% of people living in poverty unfortunately, are seniors and or people with disabilities. Wow, that's just straight up sad right there. I mean, seriously, almost seven out of 10 of the 7.8% of the population who are living in poverty are those individuals who are either seniors and or people with disabilities. Again, sad, plain old sad. I'm not, not sure how else to say that, right? So these are the reports. So this is a new report that just came out. And again, um, yeah, some pretty shocking numbers here. And let's just hope and let's just cross our fingers that hopefully Congress will maybe look at these numbers and hopefully all of these reports will come together and they'll look at it and think, look, this is the solution, right? Now, again, I've said this before in many other videos. I don't come back here and say that we need to get a stimulus check sent out to 85% of the population. I've made that very clear in other videos. I do not believe that is the case. However, 
sending out a stimulus check to maybe, I don't know, 20, 25%, maybe 30% of the population that encompasses the lowest of income and fixed income beneficiaries who maybe have an income below, say, $40,000 or even better, say, $30,000 a year. Yes, these are the individuals who need more stimulus. These are the individuals who need either lump sum payments on a, say, maybe a, a three month or like a quarterly basis, or maybe even monthly checks that are small or something like this. We all know this. We've talked about it before. We've seen all the reports. We've discussed all the details many, many times before. And we continue to see time and time again, Yep, a huge surprise here, but the low income and fixed income need these additional payments. So anyway, yeah, I'll continue to do all the research on this and continue to find more information. As I do get more details, of course, I'll bring it to your attention right away. So again, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. No matter what, I'll continue to be here for you every single day, helping you out and bringing you these updates and continuously advocating for those of you here in this community. And again, I like to bring these reports to you to let you know what is actually going on. And these are the reports that are actually being uh, distributed by the Census Bureau. This is one right out of the Census Bureau. So yeah, this is what they're saying. Anyway, hope this one helps you. Again, enjoy your day and I'll catch you again later in the next video.